Hey guys, Money King here. Today we're going to be talking about the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte GPU, and we're going to talk about how I think it's the best budget card for AI. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the 4060 Ti, and I've bought three of these, and um, they've done really, really well, and I think it's a good card if you're looking to do AI on a budget, right? Because they have, they have, they have some good qualities to them. One, they're pretty fairly priced if you get them used or open box, right? So right now, I currently got three of them used from the Zotac store for like around $300. Now, that doesn't always come up and it's not always available, but you do have to kind of scour and find some good deals. The other thing is, besides their prices, is they have six, there's two versions of the 4060 Ti. There's one that has an eight gigabytes of VRAM and the other one has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. We do not want the eight gigabytes of VRAM. We want the... 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and this is for the AI compute workloads, right? We want the most amount of VRAM as, as possible, right? So now, granted, you can get on platforms with eight gigabytes of VRAM, but what I primarily use these for was for salad. Um, and I have found the most, at least luck for me, as far as a return on my investment to so on salad, I've typically been doing about, you know, between four to five dollars a day on these 4060 Ti uh, 16 gigabytes GPUs. And I bought these way back in May, right? And um, I've done really, really well with these things. And if you figure, okay, well, if I spent $300, how long would it take me to make if, if I was rented 24 seven? Well, I wasn't rented all the time, but I've been rented I'm going to say a fair amount of time is at least 50%, right? So if you think about that, I've already I've already paid myself back for these GPUs, right? Because being rented half the amount of time at about 4 or $5 a day, now making generally 4 to $5 a day and being rented about 50% of the time on salad, right? If you're rented consistently, right, every day, then you'd be paid back in two months, if you're rented 50% of the time, it would be four. And then obviously if you're rented 25% of the time, you'd be paid pay back in eight. And people are like, whoa, man, eight months is such a long time. Okay, well, if you think about it from the traditional world of investing, right? Eight months is a great payback period for any type of investment. Anything under a year is literally insane, right? Most like investments, when you're talking about like, traditional investing in the stock world or you know other traditional investments you're talking two five years or maybe even 10 years to get a really good return right depending upon obviously what you're investing in right so something under a year is is extremely extremely good um so you know i'm i'm also so what do i pair these with so i i pair now, I pair these uh, GPUs with my workstations that I was selling on my, um, on my Mining King uh, website. Uh, I don't have any more for sale currently right now. If that's something you guys are interested in, put a, put a comment down below and maybe we could work something out. Um, so I use the, these workstations and um, these workstations, they're not too expensive. And I'm going to say all in your for your complete system, you know, you're probably looking at about, yeah, about a six to eight month ROI, including the system, right? G GPU wise, you're probably talking like two to four months, right? Um, because the system app obviously adds some some more money to be able to to get your money back on on your investment. Now, the nice thing is, though, is as far as you know, ease of use, it's great that, you know, I'm using salad for this, right? Because anybody, you guys, everyone can do this, right? All you have to go to is salad.com, download their installer. I do have an affiliate link for salad down below. It doesn't cost you guys anything or anything like that. It just kind of helps me out a little bit. Um, 
Although I've heard that they've reduced the affiliate link for us, which is not great. Um, but the, the the nice thing with using Salad is though is it's not it's not pigeonholing anyone, right? It's not gatekeeping anything. That means that anyone and everyone is able to use this platform, able to buy this hardware I buy, able to replicate what I do, and and anyone with any type of skill level, because I'm going to say most people know how to install Windows, right? That's all you really need to do. And you don't even need a valid Windows key, right? I've let mine go for months with no keys, and they've been perfectly fine, right? Um, so you don't need keys. So that's another, you know, cost that you don't have to incur. Um, I will be doing another video um, going over my, my kind of my budget AI, um, build if you're trying to get into this scene. So I made this video because I wanted to get people to realize that they don't need to spend, um, you know, two, five, 10, or even $20,000 on big, huge eight card 4090 rigs, which don't get me wrong, those do produce the most revenue. But if this is something that you're not sure you want to get into, and maybe this is kind of like you want to just dip your toe into, kind of see how it works. Now, you can go to other platforms um, like Vast and Clore, FluxCore, and any of these other uh, solutions as well. Now, you, typically I found that my returns aren't as great on Vast and Clore, and um, uh, FluxCore was, was actually pretty decent when it did rent. I, I got like about I think around four dollars a day, so that was really that was really good. Um, but typically on like Vast and Clore, you're kind of looking around like the two dollars a day mark. So your return on investment is going to be significantly longer. You're probably approaching the year mark for those particular platforms. Um, you know, the one nice thing that I like about Salad is. Even when it's rented, though, it typically doesn't use that much power, right? I've seen it to where it's been, you know, around 100-something watts, you know, or less while it's rented, and you're still making money. So it's it's kind of a um, vast and chlor can give you more of a steady rent, but the steady rent also means that it's going to pay less. Or you can get paid more and use less power. So it's going to kind of depend on what you pay for power in that perspective. If you have a really high energy cost, I would suggest maybe going with something like salad. If you have cheaper energy, you know, then I would maybe go with something like Clore or Vass where you could get that long steady rents and, and, and increase your profitability that way. So let me know what you guys think down below, uh, what you guys think about um, the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte card. Do you guys think that I'm right about this, or do you guys have a better card you think at a better price point for you know around three to four hundred dollars? If you guys do have a suggestion, I would be interested to hear about it. So, all right, guys, this is Monique giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.